What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. This is a really special video for me and I'm glad that I can take you guys along for the ride. I've been looking at getting a classic car for quite a while now and I've searched pretty much the entire market from original 1980s Ford Escorts to BMW 6 Series to Mercedes SLs and pretty much everything in between. But this one particular model just kept sparking my interest. If I take you back a step, like well over 20 years ago when I was a child, I would walk home from school past the Boltons pub in Canton and I just kept seeing the same car like every now and again. It was really long, it was black, it had pop-up headlights and it just looked like something I had never ever seen before. To present day, the universe has gone full 360 and now I'm being pointed towards the same car once again. This time with the opportunity of actually owning one. After countless hours of research and trolling through the internet, looking for things to look out for when you're buying a classic car and reviews and owners and all that kind of stuff, I found what I believe to be one of the nicest, well-kept examples of this car in the country. So without further ado, I present to you V8. So there we have it everyone. This is the BMW 840 CI 1994. It's just a tad over 85,000 miles. It is as clean as can be. Oh man, I'm just so happy. I'm, uh, I don't even have words. I genuinely don't have words for this. Childhood dream. Look at it, it's just clean, like everything. The paintwork is perfect. There's no marks, there's no rust. The alloys have been totally stripped. Um, refurbed every nut every bolt four brand new tires the leather is in perfect condition i'm just extremely grateful right now i really really am honestly small grill gang as well by the way bmw please take note <laughs> i know the new m3s and m4s are a bit marmite but here we go small grill gang all day and this is just like the car of the time the best looking bmw probably ever made they really really don't make them like this anymore yeah let's just get into it man let's go for a drive so guys this is it this is the maiden voyage this car feels absolutely huge hopefully you guys can see has behind me in the sl what a day this is oh man this is literally a dream come true like i don't think people really understand like seeing this car as a kid and then actually now being able to drive one and own one. Um, mate, this is, I, I'm, I'm speechless. I'm completely speechless. It drives like a brand new car. Obviously it feels heavy and the brakes are trash, but you know, that you expect those kind of things. It's, it's, you know, it's 1994. It's the same age as my fiance. Like, it's crazy, man. Honestly, I feel so grateful to be able to uh, to be in this position. It's, it, it feels flipping good, man, honestly. Driving through the country lanes, we're all the way up in Nutsford, like Cheshire, and the roads are just lovely. Like, the, you know, the, the speed limit is 60 and I'm doing 40 quite happily. This is what life is about, man, I've decided. This is just so sick. Driving around in some classic cars with your mates, do some country roads, just living life, man. Look at this, this is so much fun. Check the roads. It's what these cars are made for. Motorway cruising and country roads. It really feels like the back of the car is so heavy. When you swing it into a corner, you can really feel the weight of the car. And the brakes are so <laughs> spongy. But they might need wearing in. I don't know, this, the car probably hasn't been driven like for a long distance, for quite a while. So this is really gonna be his first major test. Uh, I am just enjoying it. like. Nostalgia. From what I understand, 
there's just under 600 road legal BMW 8 Series left in the country. As it stands today, there's only a handful for sale on Autotrader and classic car websites too. The 1994 840 Ci has a 4 litre naturally aspirated V8, which produces around 286 horsepower. I've got no doubt that it's lost a few of those horses in the last 27 years, but one thing it hasn't lost is its ability to amaze. Getting up at like 4.30 on the day of collecting the car. We decided not to film when we got home. Everyone was just knackered. So we kind of just went home, rested, um, but it's a sunny day. The car is clean, it's gleaming. So I thought, Do you know what? What better time than today than to take it out and enjoy it. And it's just, it's flawless, man. Like every aspect of this car is absolutely flawless. Like the leather doesn't look like it's been sat on. Everything works, the CD player. I put some CDs in now. I um, haven't managed to dig out the tapes, but I'm sure when I go uh, to my parents' house, there'll be more than a few classics in there, which I'll be able to uh, borrow. Yeah, I've been absolutely loving driving this car. It's just, and look, with all the windows open and the sunroof, it's just like, I'm, I'm outside, but I'm inside. And it's so comfy, the seats are big. like. It's not super fast, obviously, but you don't buy a car like this to be super fast, even though it's got a four litre engine. You will see this car on the channel. Um, obviously, I'm not going to change a lot, but the one thing that I do want to change is we get like a, a retro head unit, which looks original, but has like Bluetooth, USBs and stuff like that. But it has to look original. That's like my main sticking point, because when I tell you nothing's been changed on the car, I mean, like this is pretty much out the factory how it should be. Like even to the point where we've got the torch in the glove box. Have a look at this. See how look, we open up the glove box. We've got the original BMW torch. <laughs> it's crazy, the bulb's gone in it, but I mean, you know, who needs that now? But still, it's just so cool. I can't remember which way it goes in. In there, drinks holders here. Haven't figured out how to use those yet. Not gonna bother. And then we've got Mace's CD. as one of the ones I picked up earlier. Look at the leather. Like, it's literally as if no one's sat in here, like ever. <laughs> so yeah, it's safe to say that I'm extremely happy. Um, don't know how long I'm gonna keep it for, hopefully as long as possible, because then it'll allow it to, you know, appreciate in value. Obviously I'll take it out to classic car shows, stuff like that, it'll be a new thing for me, I guess. I've made a new Instagram account called The8140CI. So head over there, the link will be in the description. Jump over there and you'll be able to see a lot more pictures of the car, videos and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, thank you very much for watching. Hit that subscribe button, hit like, and then we'll crack on from there. Thank you. Peace.